Business Portal 4.0 comes with a number of sample KPIs. It also comes with a tool to create your own KPIs. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take the sample KPIs, I'm going to copy them to a new company, and I'll show you how to adjust them so that you can use them in your company portal as an administrator. As an administrator, I'm going to have access to the KPI management tool. I'm going to also have the ability to create new KPIs and manage those KPIs. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to Site Actions and then Site Settings. These are all the settings for Business Portal. We'll go into KPI Management. And the first thing I want to do is set up a new folder to put my new KPIs in. So I'm going to go down to Organize KPIs here, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it the Phone Company and create it. Now the phone company folder here, it's blank, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy three of these existing sample KPIs up into this folder, and then we're going to adjust them to work with a new company. So let's do that. The first one I'm going to do is total sales. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to copy the selected KPI. And I'm going to use the same name, and I'm going to identify it by the database. I'm going to put it into this folder here. Hit OK. Now you can see how it's gone into that folder. Now I've added two additional KPIs, the cost of goods sold and the gross profit. We're going to use these three KPIs to show you some of the functionality within Business Portal. There are two basic types of KPIs. The total sales KPI is an example of one driven based on a query. Here's the query details. The other KPI type is based on KPIs. Gross profit KPI is a good example of that. It's an equation, and you can see that's an equation based on two other KPIs. So let's go back to the total sales KPI. Because I copied this from the sample company, I want to fine tune it to my new company. And to do that, I'm going to adjust the query. So open up the query details, hit modify. That's going to bring up the query for this particular KPI. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to change the company to my company here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this KPI is based on GL account numbers. I'm going to go to the restricted rows and make sure that the restrictions are proper. This one is based on documents. That looks fine to me, so I'm going to save that. Now the cost of goods sold is based on General Ledger. We can take a look at that query here. Now this one is based on the GL. We'll take a look at that query. And you can see that it's based on this number here. I'm going to change these numbers slightly. I'm going to change them to match my chart of accounts in this other company. I'm going to go to the Options tab here, make sure that it's looking at my new company. I'm going to save that, and then save that. What I'm also going to want to do is calculate the KPIs. So I can calculate them now just by clicking on that button. It's going to go out, get the data, and calculate it, and fill the values in. You can also do this on a recurring basis, on a scheduled basis. There's a tool to do that. Now let's go back to my gross profit KPI here. This is going to take some adjustments. So I'll go into the equation here. And I need to change these. I can just change them right here. Or I could use the equation builder and do it that way as well. So I want to calculate this one as well. Now this is a KPI that's based on two other KPIs. You can see it's calculating out there. And now we're done creating the KPIs. Now the next step is to put them into Business Portal, and we'll do that next. I'm going to add two KPIs to the Financial Center home on my company. So to do that, I go to Site Actions, Edit This Page. And I'm going to add a web part over here on the right hand side. And the web part is going to be one of these three KPIs down here. I've got three 
types of KPIs, KPI alert, a bar chart, and a list. And the first one I'm going to do is an alert. I'm going to add that to my business portal page. And then it will come up and it'll ask me to do open up the tool pane to finish out that web part. So we'll do that. We'll go over here. We'll select the KPI that I want. And for that, I'm going to select the gross profit one in my phone company. Select that. Select and close. Also, I have to select the time periods that I want displayed in my KPI. So I'm going to select the time periods. And we'll just select them all here. Select and close. I'm going to apply that and hit OK. And you can get an idea what that KPI is going to look like. Now, if I want to, I can set up alert thresholds that will change the color of this type and it will match something like critical warning or normal and actually this will put an icon up there so you could do that if you want to but I want to keep moving along here the next I'm going to add another KPI which is going to be a list KPI and a list KPI is a KPI that includes a list of one or more other KPIs so I'll go down here and choose the list web part we're going to add that it's going to ask me then to go into the tool pane and add more information about that particular web part. So let's do that. I'm going to open up the tool pane. And again, I'm going to select the KPI. And for this one, I'm going to select the total sales. And I need to select the time periods as well for this one. And we'll just select them all again. Then hit apply. And OK. And here are my web parts here. So let's exit the edit mode and we'll see what that looks like to the average user. So here are my two KPI web parts. The first one I added was this alert web part down here. You can go back into this and you can add the alert thresholds. And you'll get the icon showing up right it alongside these descriptions here. This KPI list, let, list web part is includes just one KPI, but you can have a number of different KPIs. The KPIs look at very specific data, and if you want to show a number of them together, you can use the list KPI web part. This was a, just a quick example to show you how to take the sample KPIs that come with Business Portal and Dynamics GP and add them to your company. You need to make that adjustment so it's looking at the data that's relevant to your company. And then you can add it to your Business Portal as one of three different types of web parts. So I hope this is helpful. And please try it. It's very easy to do.